Hi everyone, Rob Maliki at uh, AIEC 2016. I'm here with Rob Lawrence, who's the principal of uh, Prospect Marketing Research and, quite frankly, the, the best researcher and uh, trend forecaster in Australian international ed. Um, Rob, today you talked about social enterprise mobility. Mm. What is that? Uh, this is where it's far different from a voluntary program where you're just going on a Habitat for Humanity or something like that. This is where you actually are, you've got a social enterprise which is not income generating but knowledge generating um, or it may cover costs but it's actually going on something which enables people to gain experience to networks, gain experience to projects on a mobility program but it's not necessarily aligned to a particular charity. It might be an enterprise of their own. It's where they come up with the idea, come up with the concept, okay I'm going to deliver this program into this country because it's an idea and they will raise the funds and they deliver content and if it can be accredited or recognised then it becomes a formal proper program. Yeah wow and so and how big is this going to be do you think? I mean you've just presented a whole amount of research on this this afternoon. I think it's going to be massive space because mobility programs growth as you know is going, mm. it's going to be short term and there are going to be more people coming into education and out at various junctures and more than happy to do a two to four week program if it gains a credit or gives some kind of recognition and a lot of people wanting to work with social enterprises they're wanting to work in the public space where they're actually helping other people and they're actually wanting to really build up networks and links through enterprise schemes which give good sense of engagement with other people. And that's certainly what this kind of mobility does, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a fantastic way of getting... Uh, you've only got to look at some countries which are really generating enormous new knowledge mm. and they're, they're applying that. Indonesia comes to mind uh, as a really... I've been doing some work in Indonesia recently and some of the social mobility programs, they've got a... that's potentially there. They've got a 100, zero, 100. Um, so 100% alleviation of um, uh, stale water, for example, in the, in the cities of Jakarta, say, for example. There's a really good example where a social enterprise could actually go along and help us extend that into villages and other villages and outlying areas. So they're actually giving back, but not through a charity, but through an idea, which then is recognised as a mobility programme. Incredible. There you go, folks. You heard it first here at AIOC 2016. Thanks, Rob. That's fine. Pleasure.